Hello, this is Spellbinder Reports on the unfiltered news headlines from Reality Zone, compiled by G. Edward Griffin. Comes out with this newsletter once a week, and this one goes from April 30th through May 6th of 2011. A comic strip this week is, What do you mean prices have gone up since I got in line? Yes, yes, and you'll find out what that is under the headlines for this week. This is not good. This is what's happening. Uh, first of all, good news. U.S. Ron Paul raised over $1 million in one day for his 2012 presidential campaign, and polls indicate he has the best chance of defeating Obama. Daily Mail, May 6. Mississippi Nuclear Plant releases unknown amount of radioactive tritrium into the Mississippi River. River. Authorities don't know where it came from or even why it was there. Tritrium is not normally used in nuclear plants, and it was found in a structure that has never been used. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission says health is not threatened. Hmm, let's get this right. They don't know where it came from, or if it still is arriving from the same or some unknown source, and they don't know how much was dumped into the river. But don't worry, folks. It's perfectly safe. Natural News, May 6. Of course it's perfectly safe. They raised the level up of radiation exposure. The higher they raise it up, the less you're affected by it. Didn't you know that? That's what they want you to believe. I want you to believe that they can raise the rate of radiation up to a higher level and say, oh yeah, you can take this much now. Even though there was a reason why they had it at that much before. You know, the lower amount. Okay, let's continue on here. U.S. Obama administration floats a plan to tax drivers based on miles traveled. That's right, the White House claims that this is an early draft and Obama has not yet endorsed it. He will, of course. This is the Hill, May 5th. Yes, he want to make your car into a personal taxi driver. You'll be a taxi driver and the passenger. Isn't that something? Don't you love Obama now? Man. Pakistan military, in responding to the bin Laden raid, says that more U.S. raids would result in a review of future cooperation with Washington. What a weak statement of protest this is. Pakistan is unlikely to jeopardize its multi-billion dollar aid package it gets from Uncle Scam, but they have to say something that sounds good to the Pakistani people. The U.S. frequently bombs areas of Pakistan with drones, and the Pakistan government remains silent, or basically looks the other way. Uh, APF, May 5th. U.S. FDA claims power to seize food without evidence of contamination. It can hold the food for up to 30 days, merely on suspicion of contamination or mislabeling. Activist Post, May 5th. That's right, the FDA says they can now claim that your food on your farm is contaminated, even just by looking at it. They got some type of scanner eyes that can see this stuff. And they can look at your food and say, your stuff is bad because you're in competition with the corporate factory farms. Therefore, we're confiscating all your food for 30 days and why it rots away. Uh, yeah. See what I mean? This is what that's all about. Uh -huh. U.S. Secretary Expert now proposed military checkpoints at shopping malls, churches, and schools to combat terrorism, of course. That's right. It wouldn't be a police state unless there was a cop on every corner going, Give me your papers! It's not papers, please. You see, at least the Nazis were real nice, the SS and stuff. They'd at least say please, because they were towed to. So they wouldn't look like the monsters they were. Well, these guys don't even care if they look like monsters. They're tasty if you if you don't. You know, don't submit to them. Ah, I see. U.S. Former Deputy Assist Secretary of State, who served under... Oh, that was the CFL, May 4th. Uh, U.S. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, who served under three presidents, says Osama bin Laden died in 2001 from a medical condition known as Marfan Syndrome. He also said he is prepared to tell a federal grand jury the name of a top general who told him directly that 9-11 was a false flag attack. In other words, it really was an inside job. 
Prison Planet, May 4th. U.S., EPA, and Army Corps of Engineers can take control of almost all water sources under the misnamed Clean Water Act, claiming it is necessary to combat pollution. Combatant pollution is a worthy goal, but unfortunately, the EPA is heavily influenced by the same corporate interests that are the worst polluters. This is about control, not clean water. Natural News, May 4th. Maryland to sue Chesapeake Energy for poisoning farmlands and waterways with toxic chemicals used for fracting or fracturing underground rock formations to release the trapped gas and oil. The company is not required to identify the chemicals because they are considered proprietary on the ownership of the company. <laughs> yes, that's more important than the safety. Ah, CNBC, May 4th. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency badly misnamed stop special monitoring for Fuka, Fukushima, Fukushima fallout. Despite increased radiation in rainwater and drinking water and milk in California topsoil, if EPA stops looking for radiation, it honestly can say it is unaware of any danger. You know, uh, deniability by not doing their job. Oh, we didn't know that. Well, of course, you stopped monitoring. Michigan Messenger, May 4th. Former EPA whistleblower releases a peer-reviewed study that discredits the theory of global warming because it is contradicted by real-word data. Therefore, it is foolish to regulate CO2 admissions. His original report was banned in the EPA and never made it public because the EPA had a political agenda that requires belief in the global warming myth. Big Sky Business, May 4th. U.S. Computer Rental Company is suing for spying on customers from rented laptops. Yes, they did the same thing the schools were doing when the schools gave out laptops, including intercepting messages, taking webcam pictures while you're not looking of you, and tracking keystrokes. Last year, a school district was caught doing this and had to pay 600000 in damages. Well, not quite. Not the school district or the people who did the spying, who should have been sued personally, but the taxpayers that paid the fine through the school <laughs> budget. <laughs> See, that's why we got to get rid of property taxes and school budgets and, and giving school. We should have nothing to do with that. School should be financed by, by communities, not by federal governments or not even a state. It should be controlled by the community. This is just bad. It's If you want your kid to learn, you'll put the money in there to get him. But as soon as your kid graduates, you should not have to pay a penny more in property tax for school taxes. As soon as your kid leaves, why do you have to keep paying for some other brat that's not learning anything and is going to be worthless to society? It's bad enough you have to worry about your own. Ah, Missouri farmers sue Army Corps of Engineers for blasting levees to prevent swelling of the Mississippi River. The farmer's previously protected property now is flooded, and the growing season has been lost. The Supreme Court declined to get involved when Missouri tried to stop the Army Corps from blasting the levee. St. Louis Today, May 3rd. U.S. About one in seven Americans now receive food stamps. That's right, one in seven people are getting food stamps in America. That's 390 million, or what is it, 300, 309, 300 and something million people? It was 290, so it must be about over 300 million people. One out of seven are getting food stamps. That's, that's like that's a third or so. It was about seven Americans. Now we see, I'm just coming up right off the top of my head, but I think it's about a third. Here is a map that shows the date for each state. Don't bite the hand that feeds you takes on a new meaning. WSJ, May 3rd. Aha! U.S. Orly Tads, a Tads, who has taken the Obama citizenship issue to court before, is filing another case against Obama for a Ford's birth certificate. She claims that the certificate was doctored, the document's serial numbers is out of sequence, the typing isn't aligned, and it was printed on green paper instead of white like other Hawaiian birth certificate records of that era. Daily Mail, May 3rd. Problem is, she's right. She's also right about the uh, social security number. It belongs to a Connecticut woman. 
<laughs> he'd never been to Connecticut until he went on the road to be president. So where'd he get that number, that <laughs> SS number from, Social Security? Look, U.S., a secret cable message from a U.S. embassy exposed by WikiLeaks reveals the plan to merge the U.S. with Mexico and Canada to create a Northern American Union similar to the European Union. The document includes a strategy to circumvent constitutional roadblocks in the pursuit of this goal. New American, May 2nd. Several mainstream news sources publish photos of dead Osama bin Laden, but they are clearly are digital forgeries based on a photo of another man. The U.S. claims it has real photos and is considering releasing them. It is difficult to imagine why this was not done immediately. We shall see. Prison Planet, May 2nd. But since then, they've said, oh no, we're not going to release the photos. Too gross of them. No, no, no. Then we get found out they're saying Al Qaeda organization networks are saying, oh, we're going to have to attack everyone now because you killed our great leader that's been dead since 2001. Anyways, um, U.S. video tear gas, sound cannons, and riot police used against partying students at Western Illinois University. All this to break up a noisy block party? Or are the police looking for an excuse to practice for bigger events in the future? That's where I believe it's practice on these college students with the sound ear, eardrum blasting sound devices. Yes, they were using those. That can, that can shatter your eardrum. Make you deaf. Uh, YouTube, May 2nd. Chinese central banker recommends China dump two-thirds of its U.S. dollar reserves of three trillion and replace it with more strategic investments. Chinese officials have been saying they intended to do this for many months and the sell-off already has begun. The impact will be further dropped in dollar value and higher prices. Natural news, May 2nd. That's right, Chinese start doing this. You think, you think, wait till you're paying five dollars for a head of lettuce and you're, you'll know what's going on. Alrighty, let me get this lined up right. U.S. Federal Reserve announces that inflation is modest and offers new numbers in the Consumer Price Index to prove it. One little problem, food and energy prices were omitted from the calculation. It would be funny if it were not so serious. Yahoo! May 2nd. Secret EU deal to merge the southern England and northern France into a new territory called Arc Manchi is revealed. Millions of pounds have been earmarked for the project and a flag has already been designed. Most British citizens support national sovereignty and support is growing for leaving the EU. However, their royalty and their top leaders are internationalist and want the opposite. Those in power usually get what they want. That's from the Express, May 2nd. Scotland. Government. Taxpayers paid over 1.3 million to wind farms to stop producing energy for two days because of the high winds and rainfall, which increased the hydroelectric generation in the river. At the same time as the wind was blowing real hard, the grids could not absorb the energy. So the energy had to be shut down and it did not transfer correctly to England, as if you read in the article. The amount paid to stop production was 20 times greater than that which the wind farms would have earned if they had actually produced electricity. Well, they, they charged them that much money, 300 something pounds, or 1. million, to windmill farms to stop producing, but one of them got $308,000 by itself, just not to have its windmills turned on. BBC, uh, May 1st. Hey, again! Amateur's investing investigator and discovers that the image of Obama recently released long-form birth certificate is not a picture of a document but was created by a computer graphics program with nine separate layers. See it for yourself. YouTube. April 30th. Video. U.S. Whole Foods Market is being sued for violating Florida deceptive trade practices law by selling certified organic vegetables from China when the store knew they were grown by prisoners in a polluted region. The suit is also claims that Whole Foods knew the certification came from the Chinese government, which also owned the farms. A serious conflict of interest. Sustainable Food. Posted May 30th. Texas bill would make invasive pat-downs a felony if TSA agents intentionally touch someone's private area, even on the top of the cloven, unless they have probable cause to believe the person is carrying something illegal. This bill is gaining popularity, especially after the former Miss USA was groped in Dallas. Yahoo! 30th. 
Former Miss in USA, Susie Costello, describes her experience with the TSA full-body pat-down and her feeling of being violated. Utah sues the federal government for theft of millions of acres of land in the West under the guise of placing it in the wilderness protection, which means it will be closed to economic development. It's part of the UN's Agenda 21, of course. Well, that's it for now. I'll have a post at the bottom, the, the link, so you can catch up on the news of this. Until next time, be good, be good at it. This is Spellbinder Reports. Good day.